still in Caleta, in Caleta Marina. Man, that's an ominous sort of mixed sky. Giving lots of mixed messages. We're supposed to be getting some kind of a storm. So far we've seen just a tiny bit of rain. But uh, in any case, we're all buttoned up and tied up. Every single cleat on the yacht has a liner going from it to a dock, so we're good in that respect. Scott and I uh, tied her up good before uh, he left, so I'm here now. Um, they're not back till first week of January, so I've got a few weeks now. And uh, I'm leaving in two days. I've got my flight booked for Rome. And then from there, my flight booked to Venice. And it's Budapest after that. Uh, I just have to figure out how to get there, but I really like the idea of driving there. So um, I haven't made any arrangements for transportation to Budapest yet. But I am in the process of um, doing, a, trying to arrange for an air BMB. stay there for a few days over Christmas anyway and then from there I'll head to Morocco most likely spend most of my time in Marrakesh so for now I'm still here in Caleta so this is the marina um, we come in just there is the entrance on the other side as you saw us coming in the other video when we motored from Funchal to here. Marina office is just up the way there and great facilities right beside the marina office for uh, all the yachties. And the marina is basically, or the, the whole area is being rebuilt. There's a hotel there and on the other side that building, the taller building there, is also a hotel. The marina was destroyed by a landslide, and you can see all the netting up on the side of this cliff. Um, a whole bunch of enormous boulders came flying down and destroyed it all. And um, so they're slowly putting it back together again. So here's the yacht just over here this section and so I've made my home base so to speak my my base away from the yacht this restaurant here owned uh, by a gentleman Joe a real nice guy hospitable all the typical characteristics of a, a restaurant owner in a marina always there to give advice and, and uh, tell you about the island and all that kind of stuff. So Aki Caleta. And this is where I spend a lot of my time drinking fantastic coffee and uh, using their Wi-Fi. And what else? So Madeira, yeah, spectacular place. Did a little bit of driving, including a complimentary drive by one of the locals here today amazing place so I'm gonna rent a car tomorrow and do a real thorough drive around I want to go back up to uh, Port Mooney's as well to that amazing restaurant that is um, that's built among the rocks along the shore so this is what the place is like for you boaters who are thinking of coming so we came in from Gibraltar, which was very straightforward, very easy. The sail from Gibraltar to Madeira took us a little over four days, I guess. Um, the wind behind us most of the way. Nothing complicated at all. And uh, we'll be heading to the Canary Islands. We'll be there for a couple of days, I think, then Cape Verde Islands, and then from there we'll jump off and head out into the Atlantic 
bound for St. Lucia. So, even though it looks a little moody out there, it's still a fabulous, fabulous evening. I think this is one of the most beautiful islands that I've ever visited, and that says a lot. For those of you who've been following my channel, you know I've visited quite a lot of islands, and this is just uh, absolutely spectacular, a really spectacular place. Okay, that was it. Just a short little update. No doubt you'll hear from me next when I land in Rome. Looking forward to that. Looking forward particularly to Venice. Going to do another night crawl in Venice because it's so easy to do that there anyway because uh, everything is so close. Virtually all of the points of interest are like 15 minutes walking distance, a lot, some of them a lot closer. It's like 35, 40 minutes to walk anywhere, I think, in Venice. Okay, there it is. See you later.